What's going on, man? Big Aunt Uncle Spliff, Spliff D TV, man. Where we got him back, Jack. We got him back. Big homie CC, what's up, homie? What's the word, Spliff D? How you feeling, brother? Hey, man, I'm over here Cadillac and relaxing, man. You know what yes, I'm talking sir. about? Hey, yes, when I seen, hey, let me check, check this out. When I seen this clip on YouTube, uh, on Instagram, on, on Twitter, I they use the first person I thought of. I okay. said, man, I gotta, I gotta get Big Homie CC's opinion about this, man. So, right. FYBJ, man, been pushing peace. He went from, he went from the, he went from the, the op goblin to the <laughs> peace pusher. All right, uh, he went to O Block. You know, uh, uh, he went to O Block. Uh, as we all know, <laughs> our, most of the O Blockians over there has converted to Islam. Yes. Uh, uh, and uh, FYBJ man, uh, for the last year or so, been really pushing this peace thing. You know, he been pushing it. And a lot of people, a lot of people question it because they going, they they go because they going off his, you know, his past music, his past remarks, his past tweets about the old blockians. You know. Right. Right. Uh, so 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 to go over there and, and, and to shoot a vlog, it's 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 it, you know it it made this peace thing full circle, but one person wasn't rocking with it. Right, that right. Old uh, block E dog. E dog, right, right. I saw. E -Dog, it. Yeah, E dog came over there and and pressed the hell out of Jay man. He he wasn't feeling it. He wasn't feeling it at all, man. I, I don't know if he felt like it wasn't genuine or not, but or is it or or I'm gonna ask you, is it too much blood in the streets? First and foremost, I want to say that once blood has been shed, pushing peace looks a lot different than what I'm seeing Jay Main doing. Uh, I've had personal experiences where I've been in positions where I had to mediate situations between very dangerous men. And, bro, it's not no cameras coming. It's not no YouTube videos getting made about it. You feel me? Uh, man, it, it, he, he, he pushing. He pushing. He pushing his YouTube channel. He, he He's pushing. <laughs> But you, I, you were about to say it. You say you push your content. <laughs> he pushing content for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because bro, I didn't been, I didn't been to meetings, bro. When it's been bloodshed, when it's been tense conversations going on, I, I don't know if I'll do this shit again. You feel me? Like him going over there with that camera, and then, bro, you don't. You 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 wanted to be these at the end of the day. Yeah. He wanted to be these at the end of the day, bro. Like I don't see nobody from 63rd going over there with him. I just this is this this is not what pushing peace really is, man. And um I salute J Man, but So the bro, cameras don't so you saying basically the cameras don't make it valid. Man, how can you make up men's on murders? With a camera there, because now you got to talk about you got to talk about other murders and, and crimes. How you gonna talk about that with a camera there to make peace about it? That's a great point. And then you know, you still got the songs up there, and then you go over to their hood, and they and they like, hold on, he over here again? He not even Muslim. He was you know, pushing, bro, that, that's not how pushing peace looks. Like, you know, one, one, uh, one, one of the, uh, one of the brothers over there, they brought that up. That was like, brother, you still got songs up that's, that's dissing crazy. our homies. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what, bro, in Chicago, bro. If you blow your horn at somebody in the light, you better be ready to shoot it out. Bro. So imagine how people feel to react, but you dissing their dead man's. They family, they brothers, they cousins, and he was they, on there talking crazy, bro. They they sisters, they sisters, man. You been on the scene when your main ops came through blowing. 
you've been on the scene and you still got these songs up, but that's not pushing peace. Now, E Dog said that for to for J Man for, for it to be genuine in his eyes, he says J Man has to apologize for everybody he diss if if he's really sincere about pushing peace. Do you agree? I definitely agree with that. Because you got to think about it, bro. The version of O Block we seeing right now, man, bro, they numbers is down, like, from, from, from familiar faces. You got Boss Top just came home, though. But then you got, like, a lot of other guys that's booked. Yeah. So now the, the younger guys mixed with some of the older guys got to speak for all of them. And you still got songs up. Like, the music should come down first. If you taking that initiative, like, you feel me? Bro, I didn't been to real situations where it was real smoke. And a meeting got called. Bro, the last thing you thinking about is that camera, bro. You trying to you feel me? And then it ain't no, it, it ain't, you know, all that Martin Luther King shit not involved in it either, bro. Like all that bringing spiritual leaders there, this ain't a spiritual conversation. Yeah. You feel me? These ain't no, this ain't a spiritual conversation, man. Like I respect everything that they trying to do, but you know, they gonna start feeling disrespected over there. And the, oh, you steady coming over here? You ain't called and apologize to eat all yet. You feel me? You didn't got paid off doing the interview with DJU. E Dog didn't get paid for that shit. So E Dog said he got me on DJU and he doing a whole presentation with a with a, with a science poster board. That's not pushing peace, bro. You gotta apologize for that shit. Yeah. You gotta and take that, it down. And that vlog went crazy. Right, bro. <laughs> He's getting compensated for all of this, man. At the end of the day, them so guys... Big, I'm, I'm sorry, big homie, but I want to ask you, so do you agree? Do you feel like do you feel like the movement that j Main is doing right now is it sincere? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know him personally to speak on his heart. Um, I do feel like he genuinely wants to help kids. I do feel like he genuinely wants folks in them to get it together. But uh, you know, he playing we playing crazy with it though. And this group of guys have shown they not they not to be played with. So it, it, it just looked real funny, man. It looked because it didn't nobody force him to leave. You feel me? He, as soon as he felt any type of pressure, he just walked off. He walked off, exactly. Well, if come you on now. Peace, you got to stand there in that pain. Yeah. Yeah. You got to stand in that pain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that paint was too hot, though, man. The pan, the, the frying pan, the grease was hot. But you over there with the Muslim brothers, these men have committed to, have converted to Islam. They not attacking you on site. Somebody said, I want to slap his ass. He ain't say he was going to smoke him. You feel me? Like, he could have apologized right there to eat off face. Yeah, you're right. If you push in peace. You're definitely right. Because you know it's not all the way sincere because, shit, bro, if somebody put their hands on you over there, bro, put that content out too. Ooh. It's in the name of peace. That's it. Hey, right, so speaking of O-Block, man, so... Um, Lil Dirk, 50 Cent, 50, 50 Cent made a comment, and 50 Cent believes that Lil Dirk can beat the case with the with a with, with a with the right and great lawyer. Now Lil Dirk hired Drew Fedlin, right? That's that's the same lawyer that was Young Thug's lawyer, correct? Drew Fedlin. Thug. I, I know definitely. I, I know definitely. He represented Cardi B, the baby, and Lil Baby. Yeah, yeah, he he had he had the baby for sure on some serious yeah. serious cases. So 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 with the with the with with, with that with with that rep, with that rep, representation, um, and with Fifty Cent making that statement, do you agree with that? Do you, do you do do you feel like Lil Durk can beat this case? 
Man, first and foremost, free dirt. Uh, man, a real good question, man. It's, man, you don't play no games when you come with it, man. All right. Okay. It's hard to be the eyewitness. It's also hard to beat audio recordings. It's hard to beat them wires. It's hard to beat that electronic fingerprint. Now, one of the main keys to hiring lawyers is their relationships with people in that industry. So, you know, one guy might not be able to get a bail, but this guy goes golfing with this judge every Saturday. They've been knowing each other since college. He can probably get you to bail. So I think what he's trying to do now is his main focus is to get bail so he can fight his case from the street. I think that's why he brought in this current attorney, first and foremost, because, you know, the federal federal indictment on murder for hire, it's going to get hard to get a bond for that. You feel I was just going to I was just gonna say that, man, because if 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 we walk down all the charges that the feds hit them with, uh, one one count one count of use of interstate facilities to commit murder for hire, resulting in death, and one count of using, carrying, and discharging firearms and a machine gun and possession of such firearms at furtherance of a crime of violence, resulting in death. Whew. That interstate commerce, they don't play about that, man. Yeah, that's a that, that's the that's the big dog right there. That's the big dog, bro. They don't play about that one. Uh, man, man, man. The, I've been looking at this whole situation and like in my heart and like in, in my previous history of like watching these scenes and being involved in certain activities. In order for him to come out of the jail, first he got to figure out a way to get bond. Because in order for people on that case to admit to certain charges and they get convinced they're going to come back on appeal, you got to have, you got to be on the street. You're the man with the money. You got to be on the street to be able to entice them to go for that. Like, that that's going to be the only way, bro. If they say, if they have the evidence they say they have. You feel me? He will have to get a bond, fight the case from the street. Other people on that case gonna have to gonna have to admit to doing some shit. They're gonna have to follow the sword. They're gonna have to follow the sword, bro, and, and be convinced and believe that they can come back on appeal in, in, in some time. Yeah. So like that's that's really how severe that situation looked right there, man. That's the whole situation, unfortunate, bro. We gotta change the narrative. Like, we can't keep losing all our stars. We the only race who kill their stars and destroy their stars like this, man. We got we to gotta get this together. We kill our greats. We imprison our greats. We got to change the narrative. Now, I saw uh, I saw a post that it was kind of, you know, it, it was a conspiracy. It was a, it was a theory. But it was a, but they made a great point. They said uh, pre King, King Von, Dirk's music was different. He was singing. He was making songs about the ladies. Yeah, you know, bro, when you at that level of artistry, in order to stay at the top of the charts, you got to make what's hot. You feel I me? Mean? That's why the albums matter. Like you, Your singles got to be what's hot so that your fans come to your album to hear your other stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, he was kind of on rocky terms with India throughout the last few years in certain situations. And Vaughn was his boy. You feel me? Vaughn hot, scorching hot. You feel me? That whole style, that storytelling. Yeah, bro, we love this negativity when it, when it's real. It hit yeah. hard when it's real. You feel me? Like that's that's one of the aspects of it. Uh, I feel like this one of them situations where this is a man who wasn't rapping exactly how he lived. But he was trying to live how he was rapping. Mm. And it's called some, 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 he away from his children. That's never good. But yeah, this is one of them situations where I feel that he was, he was not living. He wasn't rapping how he was living. He was trying to live how he was rapping for sure. Mm. 